All right, I want to show you guys how I built my drip irrigation system for my garden this year. What I have here is half inch PVC pipe. And I laid it out with elbows and corners down each row of plants. And then I marked each spot where a plant was with a Sharpie. Then I came back and drilled a small hole um, in the PVC. I drilled smaller holes at the end and bigger holes at the beginning. And then I assembled it all. I didn't even seal any of the connections because I figure if I wanted to change something or expand holes to deal with water flow, I could. Um, this is my first run on it. Over here is our connections. I had to buy this PVC connection was what I originally bought, thinking it would hook to a hose. It's a three quarter inch threaded end, um, but it would hook to the other end of the hose, but not this end, which is where you would hook your uh, sprayer nozzle. So I bought this little connector, three quarter inch to three quarter inch connector. Worked good. Um, Home Depot has all this stuff, Lowe's. And then if you follow the um, hose up, see that it goes up here to my 275 gallon tank and it has my gutter ran directly into it right now I have a filter which is a 7 inch hose clamp um, wrapped around an old shirt so that's my filter um, this filled up extremely quickly, so I'm going to have to unhook this downspout and probably hook up the old one just to bypass it. And then down here, for this tote I have, I had to buy this connection off eBay. It's like $15. That's for the hose connect. You can see it dripping, but that's actually my hose. It's an old hose. So the connection's actually dry. Um, you just turn that nozzle to the on position. You can turn it over there to the off. So mine is all gravity fed, so don't have high pressure. So I have just enough to get a small stream onto each plant. And kind of go show you. As you can see, it works. It's actually draining each plant so far. is doing pretty good. I think I have a few spots where it's not draining as good as I like it to. There's a pepper plant. See the water coming right out. So it's all gravity fed. And I just have ends on them that I can unhook if they get clogged. I can pull those off and flush it. I didn't hook anything up permanently. There's no need to with gravity fed. You know, the pressure's not going to make a leak. Um, so, that's kind of what you see. And there's that ugly big 275 gallon ICB tote behind that grill. It um, fills up extremely fast. You don't realize how much water you have coming down your gutters couple rains and it was full so we'll hold on to that and on the hot days we'll use it instead of water from our hose so I hope you like the uh, video